Hey everyone. Happy Tuesday. Let me turn this light off back here. Um, I am actually making a taste buds recipe because y'all know I love my taste buds. And yes, it's Tuesday, but we're not making tacos. Let me get this shared. Hang on. Why is my... <laughs> there we go. My phone is not cooperating with my finger. Um, <laughs> so, now that I got that done, I am actually making tomato, feta, and egg pizza. Although I'm not doing the eggs because, I don't know. The more I thought about it, the more I thought, I don't know if I really want eggs on my pizza. I, I, I like fried egg sandwiches, but I don't know if I want them on my pizza. So, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to do kind of like a Mediterranean pizza. Um, I have... I'm using the everything but the bagel seasoning, which you get a pouch of it, but I have the full size bottle here. You guys, this is awesome on fried eggs, um, avocado toast, bagels and cream cheese with a little bit of sprinkle of this on top. It is really, really good. Um, so I'm using our pizza peel. This is what that looks like. Um, and I'm praying to God that my pizza actually slides off like it's supposed to. I have it dusted with cornmeal. Um, it's just a refrigerated pizza dough, and then I spritzed it with some olive oil in my kitchen spritzer, sprinkled it with some um, some of the everything, everything bagel seasoning. And instead of using whole tomatoes, I am actually gonna use just some heirloom tomatoes here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my closing cut to cut these in half. So what's going to happen is I'm going to cut these and I'm going to put them on my pizza and then we're going to throw the pizza in the oven for 15 minutes, um, let it cook, and then when it comes out, I have, ew, that one didn't look so hot. Um, I have a feta cheese mixture that I'm going to make or that I'm going to use to dollop on top. So this is the closing cut. Each side is spring loaded. Great for butterflying chicken or cutting chicken breasts in half. Um, if you get the thick chicken breasts, you know, you get more bang for your buck if you cut them in half and freeze them as opposed to paying $6 for three, you're paying $6 and you're ultimately getting six of them. So you always want to make sure to use at least a seven inch knife. It does come as a set with the coated chef's knife here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this down and then I'm going to just slice right through. And then what I have is sliced tomato halves. So I'm just gonna throw these on top of my pizza here. And then we're gonna do another spritz. And then live with you guys, I am going to attempt to put this on my pizza stone that is already preheated in my oven. So the oven is set to 450 degrees. Um, that's the nice thing about our stones is that they're preheatable now. The old ones weren't. So, you know, if you had a, have an old one, you know that you can't preheat it because if it's empty, then it'll cause thermal shock and it'll ultimately break or crack on you. So that's the thing that I like about the new stoneware is that it's preheatable, it's dishwasher safe, it's broiler safe, and I feel like it's a little bit more sturdier. It's actually stone fusion material. And you know, same same process. It's still mined here in the USA. And if you are out of the loop and you don't know, all of our unglazed stoneware is 15% off this month. There's still a few days left in October. This is what, the 25th? So there's six days left um, in the month. Hey Kristen, I, I know. When I first I was gonna try it, I was gonna go for the for the egg, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I don't know. So we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna skip that part. So then I'm just gonna spritz this again with some olive oil. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I say if you use the pan cooking spray, you don't want to use that because it causes a buildup on your bakeware that is that ends up being brown and sticky and then you can't get it off. Ruins your, your bakeware, it's got additives, it's got preservatives, it's a carcinogen, not good. 
All right, guys, are you ready for this? I don't know, I'm nervous. Let's see how this goes, because now we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna pop this in the oven for 15 minutes, and then we will take it off, and let me just, <laughs> I'm just gonna push my tomatoes down, because I don't want anything to go flying. Even though this, this pizza stone does have a, a lip on the edge to keep that from happening, I don't know. I don't know. So here we have this. Yeah, you guys can see. So here we have it on the bottom. And we are going to come off of there. <laughs> you guys, I swear, I had it dusted plenty. I don't know why it is sticking at me. that your pizza won't go flying over to the other side so let me just set my timer here for 15 minutes and now I can show you what the pizza stone looks like or pizza peel isn't this thing gorgeous you guys it is handcrafted it's got the cute little po po or pampered chef logo on there it's got this nice little hook so you can actually hang it up and use it as a spice rack if you want I've seen consultants do that they just put little um, racks down here and then they put their seasonings and they hang it on the wall so they got easy access. You can um, customize these if you know somebody who's getting married and you can put their name established and the year that they get married or you know any any couple. Um, housewarming gifts, the say like the you go to home established 2011 because that's when we moved in here. So you can do something like that. Not just for pizzas, it's gorgeous. So, that is what's going on in my kitchen. Um, I will take a picture of that when it's done, now that I successfully got it off of my peel and onto the stone. Um, and if you guys have any questions about anything that I used, um, if you want to get some stones, you still got a few days left to get them for 15% off. That stone, I don't know how much it is in full price or what the sales price is, but I know I have shared it. So, um, I will be back to see you guys again next time. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, but I will be up to something. So have a great night and I will see you again soon. Bye.